Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is MJ's 1K. My name is King Marks, aka Daniel Lotus. Okay, hit him, Lotus. <laughs> We're back with another video. And uh, so today we got an interesting one today. We got an interesting. Brent uploaded another banger. This is like from a month ago. Um, He uploaded saying uh, highest rated anime episodes from every anime ever. Top three will surprise me, as he says. I'm curious what we got cooking up right here, man. Um. You see, we're starting off again. Time, I'm, I should probably move it over here. Um, but my man is talk. So he's talking about like. Uh, so I'm curious how this is gonna be. You know, Gintama. Start off with Gintama. I mean, like, yo. Gintama is definitely one of my favorite animes of all time, for sure. Underrated one. I don't really see a lot of people talk about Gintama much, man. It doesn't get enough credit as it deserves. I mean, come on, especially with the assassination arc. It's definitely one, probably the best arc in uh, Gintama. And I remember this episode like it was yesterday. I mean, ghosts aren't the only ones who go crazy. Yo, that episode was freaking dummy stupid. That is definitely one of my favorite Gintama episodes. And I'm not surprised that it's the highest rated one, too. So that's definitely... I don't agree with that one either. So, Gintama, Season 4, Episode 39. Uh, those who protect odds against all odds. And 5... Th oh, wow. 9.8? That's interesting. Those are the highest ones. Attack on Titan, Season... That day. Yo. That, that, yo, that was definitely crazy. Uh, a huge highlight for Gintama. I'm not surprised that these are like a lot of these are from season four because season four was definitely a fantastic, almost a perfect season. Uh, I, n I had no issues. Gintama season four was definitely probably arguably the best season. So I'm not surprised to see a lot of season fours um, as like the number one episodes for Gintama because those are great. Season four, uh, episode five uh, for Attack on Titan. That was freaking stupid. That was declaration of war. That was freaking crazy. Again, at, again, proving my point again. I mean, season four for uh, for uh, Gintama. Like I said, I don't care what nobody says. Gintama season four is definitely the perfect season for uh, um, for Gintama. Like that that season, those seasons was almost flawless because they actually went everything strictly from the manga, and it was strict, just straight up perfection. I mean, it was definitely emotional, definitely crazy. I mean, farewell, buddy. That, bro, come on, man. I'm trying to, I, I don't want to talk about because it it's spoilers and everything. I don't want to get into that. But, like, just me reminiscing, just kind of thinking about I me. Mean, Gintama was definitely that. that and I feel like it needs to be talked about more, to be honest with you. Um, Attack on Titan. The Warhammer Titan. Season 4 was definitely crazy. One Piece. Oh, man. What's this? I'm trying to think. Was this the Wano arc of One Piece? That the animation looks pretty different. Cause I know for One Piece, the animation. Uh, I know when they got to the Wano arc, or at, I should say that events after Whole Cake Island, um, the animation kind of got different. Right. So I'm curious if uh, that looks like Wano arc animation. I don't know why. I heard One Piece is getting is great. I'm way behind on One Piece. I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm like on like what episode am I on right now? I'm like still on Whole Kick Island because like after the whole disaster of of to dress Rosa, I'm like yeah I can't I can't watch this anymore, man. I I, I that I had to take a break because Dress Rosa has so much potential to be the best. Uh, Anime arc in One Piece, man, it has so much potential to be proud because, like, going back, if we look back at the manga of One Piece and the Dress Rosa, I mean, everything about it was freaking perfect, bro. Everything, I mean, liberal, the seeing Gear Forth in the manga, I mean, everybody couldn't wait to see Gear Forth, uh, Luffy, and the anime in full action. But because the manga was so close to catching up with the anime, or the anime was so close to catching up with the manga, they had to freaking add, drag out all the fights and. You know how One Piece like to hit you with them freaking recaps plus the opening, my boy. 
I mean, dude, it's just freaking ridiculous, bro. I, I, I had to cut it off after that. Oh, my gosh. I, yo, what's this? What episode is Episode 19? I think I re this is the one I react to. One of my highest uh, reacting videos, by the way, uh, for Demon Slayer, Episode 19, Hinokami. Yes, I did react to that. Hands down. My favorite episode of Demon Slayer. I react. I think that's my only. Uh, no, well, anime wise, probably the only episode I react to Demon Slayer. I didn't react to new Demon Slayer episodes. Only reacted to just that one. But when I tell you that is probably the best episode of Demon, that's still probably my favorite episode of Demon Slayer, low key. And because for the simple for the simple fact that like I mean, come on. The animation for that fight was just absolutely criminally crisp, my boy. I mean, it was freaking crazy. My man, uh, Tanjiro freaking going stupid, bro. I mean, yo, like, he was... The fighting, everything about that, man, was just freaking going... Was crazy. And I remember, in my reaction, I remember I flew out my seat in the music. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. The music for that fight was just freaking insane. Everything about that episode was just freaking perfect, man. That's easy. Like, yo, one of my favorite. That's my favorite episode of Demon Slayer. No episodes really hit me in the, hit me in my feels the way that one did. And then, uh, oh, when you see when freaking gone went freaking beast mode, man. When he went to freaking or adult gone, bro. Oh my gosh. Easily one of the greatest moments in anime. Not even just a hundred percent, but one of the greatest moments in freaking anime, man. I gotta stop pausing. Black Clover. I need to catch up on Black Clover. High Q, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, again, yo, I keep trying to tell y'all. I keep trying to tell y'all. Stop sleeping on Gintama, man. Gintama's been on this list like, like what, five times already? I keep trying to tell y'all. Stop sleeping on Gintama, bro. I keep trying to tell y'all. Stop sleeping on Gintama. I'm telling you, it's that good. Season four was perfection. I keep trying to tell y'all, bro. Tag on Titan, I mean, season four was definitely the best season. Mob Psycho, season three. I remember that one. Divine, three. Yes, 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 yes. So your entity, I did not watch. What's this one? Oh, my gosh. When Luffy, this was in Whole Cake Island. When Luffy was fighting freaking Sanji, because Sanji was getting, he was about to marry some chick. I don't even know, because uh, Sanji was marrying some, one of the girls from Whole Cake Island, or no, Sanji left the crew or something like that, and Luffy, bro, when I saw that, the emotion, the amount of emotions, the feels that I was having when Sanji was going up against Luffy, because I'm like, yo, I haven't felt like this since when Luffy, uh, well, when, when Usopp left the group, when Usopp left and everything like that, and Luffy, bro, that crap, I haven't had feels like that, like a crew member-wise, because when Usopp left, and now you see the, and the whole thing with Sanji, bro, that crap hit, oh, man, that was crazy. Oh, man, don't get me, don't, I could talk about the Naruto versus Sasuke fight all freaking day. Hold on, bro. Naruto, episode 4, come on, man. Easily, easily, I, like, this is point eight, man, this was... This was it. I mean, Naruto versus Sasuke, one of the probably the greatest anime fight, arguably the top three greatest anime fights of all time. I mean, I I I'll be shocked if you haven't seen Naruto. I won't be shocked. But like, if you've seen Naruto and you've seen a whole lot of anime fights, if this isn't in your top five, top at least or at least top ten, what are you doing? Everything from that fight was freaking perfect. The animation, the movement. Um, the emotion, the me like, bro. When Studio listen, and like I said, we give a lot of crap to Studio Perry, I, but when Studio Perry wants to deliver, they deliver. I mean, come on, Rock Lee versus Gar, Naruto versus Sasuke, Part One, Two, and Three. Um, Sasuke versus Itachi, Mike Guy versus Mother. I mean, it could have been a little bit better, but uh, Kakashi versus Obito. I mean, come on, man. And let's not forget. Studio Perry is redeeming themselves for a freaking Bleach right now. Because, you know, Studio Perry on Bleach are the same. I mean, come on. When Studio Perry wants to get busy, they'll get busy, man. Let's give, some, let's give credit where credit's due, man. They're not my favorite studio, but when they want to get busy, they'll get busy. Like, they don't play no games, man. Now, I've never seen Kingdom. I've never seen Violet Ever, Evergarden. Yo. 
When my man's all might went up against one for, bro. Oh my gosh. My favorite episode of My Hero, hands down. Uh, oh my goodness, when freaking Karama died and I reacted to that. was my last, the action, before I went on freaking hiatus, that was my last video that I reacted to. Um, was when, uh, uh, Kurama died. That was my last video that I reacted before I went on hiatus, man. Still emotional to this very day. Kurama, bro, and just seeing that, that was crazy, bro. That whole episode was, was playing. Make sure y'all check out that video, too, man. That was, again... Gintama is in here again. I keep trying to tell y'all, stop sleeping on Gintama, bro. It's up there, man. I'm surprised Gone versus uh, Hisoka's not in this. That fight was freaking out. Uh, that episode was crazy. I saw season four. Season four. Yeah, Attack on Titan started going crazy, man. Yo, see, yeah, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised that whatsoever. Because season four on Attack on Titan was freaking perfection, man. Oh my gosh, I remember all of this. This is hitting me so freaking hard for Attack on Titan, bro. Oh my gosh. And, uh, my man's uh, Medium went up against my man's uh, old bro. He had his whole arm and his leg chopped off. He had his whole arm chopped off, man. And uh, Pokemon. Cause, oh yeah, because Ash finally became the, uh, the, the Pokemon world champion and everything like that. Yo, Tech on Titan, definitely. Yo, I just watched that episode last week. That episode was crazy, bro. The captain, bro, old head cat, bro. He got crazy. If he, it's just like I, I was talking to a buddy of mine of this last week. Come on, we good? The storage. Hold on. Okay, so I was just talking to a buddy about this mine last week. I kind of compare that fight to when Jiraiya was going up against Pain. Y'all remember when Jiraiya was fighting the Sage of Six Paths and he was Millie really rocking on them drones at first? He was just going crazy. And you saw my man's was going toe to toe against my man's, but it was all like an illusion. It was too easy. Like, he was just going crazy. He was just like, he, he was whooping. He's like, yo, I'm telling you, I'm him for real. Yo, I'm going crazy. And everything like that. He was like, yo, yeah. His whole body was like, Bro, he was going crazy. I can't, yo. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that job, man. Because it was all an illusion. And then because the whole time my man went to go talk to Eisen, he was having a whole conversation, cracking jokes with you. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, right now, my, I, like right now, my man's not even fighting me for real. For real. I'm over chopping up with you. Like, that's a whole imposter for real. Like, everything like that. But, yo, he was, if he knew, if, he, if my man didn't know, if he knew it was an illusion the whole time and he was actually fighting the real thing, yo, that would have been crazy. Because he would have won that fight had he never got, it, it had, like, if it was actually him. He would have won. Because that whole time, like, yo. My man wanted all the smoke. He wanted all the freaking smoke. But I'm not surprised. Yo, I'm telling you, you guys need to watch Gintama, man. Gintama is one of those underrated gems that everybody needs to check out. And season four is definitely the, probably the best season of Gintama, man. Because, yo, y'all saw how many entries was in there for that, John, bro. Um, there were some One Piece ones, One Piece Johns in there. Naruto, I'm su I'm not surprised at all that uh, the Naruto versus Sasuke is definitely the higher, highest rated one. Because... Um... Those were definitely the most perfect fights for sure. Uh, that was the most, probably, like I said, top five anime fights of all time. Or arguably the greatest anime fight of all time. If you want to be crazy with it. But, um. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, man. Let me know, let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with this. Um, I got no complaints. I agree with a lot of this stuff right here. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, this is boy Flying Lows, aka Hidden Lows. I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, let, me know, let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to or talk about, discuss about, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, man. Bye, Zeke. The anime bad boy. Out this bitch. See you guys.